Vesicular stomatitis is a viral disease which can affect horses, cattle, swine, and other livestock. It is a disease of the Western Hemisphere and occurs primarily in the warmer climates. This disease is characterized by blister-like lesions which will rupture and leave a raw, ulcerated area inside and around the mouth, nose, and on the tongue of the horse. It can also affect the coronary band just above the hooves of the horse. Once an animal is exposed to the virus, it can take as little as two days for clinical signs to develop. Though this disease can cause significant discomfort for several days, it is rarely fatal. Horses typically experience a full recovery in about two weeks with no lasting side effects. During the acute stages of the disease, horses may require extra attention, such as rinsing the mouth with mild antiseptics, wetting down their feed, and general supportive care. You should be aware that humans can become infected, so care must be taken when handling these horses. Good hand washing is essential in reducing this risk. Vesicular stomatitis can be spread by direct contact with infected animals and indirectly by contact with items contaminated with saliva or any oral tissues of an infected horse. Although we don't have all the answers to the spread of this disease, we do know that certain insects can play a role in transmitting the virus over long distances. This disease occurs sporadically, but will typically be first recognized in one of our southwestern states and then spread northward along the Rocky Mountains. We may have no reports of vesicular stomatitis for several years and then see the disease for two or three years in a row. In 2004 and 2005, we have had confirmed cases in several states. Vesicular stomatitis is a significant disease not only because of the discomfort it causes, but also because it can look identical to a condition known as foot and mouth disease. Because of this, if vesicular stomatitis is suspected in any species of livestock, it must be reported to the state and federal veterinary authorities. The cases will be investigated and appropriate lab work done to confirm that it is indeed vesicular stomatitis. It is also important to contain the disease because it can negatively impact the exportation of animals from the United States into other countries. If a state has confirmed cases of vesicular stomatitis, steps are taken to limit the movement of livestock into and out of the state or specific counties. Every effort is made to isolate the disease so it does not spread to other premises. There are no vaccines currently available for the prevention of this disease. Control and prevention are addressed by insect control, isolating animals with active disease, limiting movement of animals onto and off of premises for at least 21 days after the last case is completely healed, and other recommendations as prescribed by your veterinarian. Fortunately, vesticular stomatitis rarely causes serious disease in horses, but it can have a negative impact on the movement of livestock between states. Before you plan the next trip with your horse, talk to your local or state veterinarian about any potential restrictions at your destination. You'll be glad you did. I'm Dr. Kenton Morgan, and remember, always keep your horse's health first.